Hi, this is uh, USI Manta, and this video will be about nutrition. Uh, it will be specifically uh, for athletes or uh, people that are very active. It's not specifically, or it's not very good for people that are trying to lose weight or bulk up. So, if you're one of those people, I would recommend getting information elsewhere. Okay, let's get started. I would recommend eating something every three hours, uh, five to six meals per day, and the reason for that is that's that keeps your metabolism high. So it's sort of like a furnace; you keep adding wood or coal all the time, and it keeps the fire running good. Also, you should avoid eating simple carbs, uh, except from fruit. Uh, simple carbs are uh, that are uh, absorbed very quickly into your system and uh, they're often from sugar or uh, white bread uh, and that's not good for your body it keeps your it makes your body uh, have insulin spikes uh, which uh, leads to uh, for, ex for instance weight gain um, so but food is okay even though there's uh, simple carbs in that uh, instead I would recommend eating brown rice or whole wheat bread because uh, there's more fiber and it's absorbed uh, over a longer period of time which is uh, why they're ca and they're called complex carbs so try to eat more complex carbs especially those that are high in fiber you should also eat vegetables because um, they have many good minerals and they're very good for you minerals and vitamins and everything um, although I would avoid eating too much salad with iceberg salad because they are very low in nutritional values although they don't have many calories they uh, don't really bring in nutritional value so uh, they're kind of a waste of money uh, you should eat complex carbs as I told you earlier brown rice, whole bread etc uh, foods high in fiber uh, also lean protein that's very important because that gives you protein to build muscle and keeps your body going uh... good examples are chicken uh... and uh... fish is also good although it isn't very lean uh... it gives you a lot of uh... good fats omega-3 etc uh... salmon is uh... very good for that so get plenty of fiber protein and fat and after you get good fat there's no point in getting uh getting hydrogenated uh, oils etc which which are uh, just actually invented by uh, hydrogenating uh, the fat uh, so you should get uh, you should try to get more uh, healthy fats like the fat from uh, fish um, you shouldn't be too worried about the fat from steaks because that's not actually bad for you there's no evidence to prove that but uh, everything in moderation uh, supplements you should take um, is multivitamins, fish oils, antioxidants, and protein powder. And if you're engaged in weight gaining, uh, you can also have creatine. Uh, the multivitamin and fish oil and antioxidants are good for your general health. Uh, you won't really see a big effect. It's more of a long-term uh, commitment that... Um, helps you live longer and keeps you more healthy. Protein powder and creatine are main for building muscle and uh, keeping a healthy body. Uh, yeah, and also it gives you a lot of fuel and energy and it's very easy. Uh, creatine isn't really a meal but uh, you can mix protein powder with creatine and you have it as a meal before you go to uh, the gym.